If you ask me, now who I go ask? The matter where we see, so it's a way start. No, be me, go talk. I'm actually quite jealous because we don't, I'm not that old, but my generation, we're not as cool as the generation behind. Everyone's just so cool, have their own identity. And personally, I'm looking at the Beyonce girls that you see, it cracks me up. If you ask me, now who I go ask? No matter where we see, so it's a way start. I don't know, it's really weird. I'm kind of stuck in the 80s, like my own personal style. I'm, you know, an 80s kid, early 90s, so my clothes don't necessarily fit properly on me and I like to think my dressing is a bit schizophrenic. By schizophrenic I mean it's a juxtapose of everything. One minute I'm like a proper tomboy and next minute I'm not exactly a lady but I do try to be like a power dressing lady type thing. It's weird, my, my tastes vary, but I would say my proper aesthetic of how I like to look is late 80s, early 90s kind of look. My favourite place to shop uh, is definitely London. London, Portobello Road, but I like markets, so I hardly... Um, Okay, because obviously I'm a PR manager for River Island, so River Island gets a name check. Uh, I like H&M. I love H&M anywhere in the world. And I love Portobello Market, Camden Town Market. I like market and second-hand shops most. And I actually like going to, when I come to Nigeria, before they knocked me down, Teju was so... Because I used to get a really nice Okrika, or Vintage, as you call it. Vintage, what otherwise known as Okrika, Bend Down. I like those things as well. I absolutely love them. I love I love Charles Deacon. I love Erdem. If I could wear anybody all the time, all day, every day, it would definitely be a bit of Mark Jacobs and Jill Sander. But African-wise, obviously, do I say go Bumi Coco and my friend Zedai. Zedai, Zedai, Zedai. Then I met these really cool Nigerian boys here who make these really cool shoes. And they're making me a pair, so I'm ch name checking them too as well. House of Hercules, I think they're really cool. Take some action, I beg you, no delay. No make my task was pass as a day. As a day, if you ask me, now I go ask. The matter where I see, so I can I have a couple more. I can't change the rest. There's one there, and there's another one on my lower back. And there's one somewhere else I can't show you, even though you're Aces TV. <laughs> I probably get a couple more because they all mean different things to me. I, um, I don't really like piercings, they hurt. I took my tongue ring out and I had that. When the Spice Girls came out, I did that in 96 when I saw Mel B. So now I probably get a few more tattoos. I want to get a sleeve. If you ask me, now who I go my hair, my hair is, I call it my stress-free, stress-free hair. Basically, I haven't got time for straightening or curling or whatever. So I always have curly hair. I've got three packs. A human Brazilian hair in here. I dyed some of them. This is like a home job, and then it rained when I did it, so all the red came out of my face. And I was off. I was going to work that day. That was hilarious. But yeah, um, I just like stress-free hair, so I just always have it in a wrap because I haven't got time. When I'm working, I just can't stand hair on my face. I want other like Nigerian kids to know that they can actually get to wear. I'm not, I don't think of myself as anything. I'm just a shit kid from Mendy and the solo. But I just want people to know that you can do it. You can just work hard and there are proper ways of doing it. Not because you're rich and stuff. You don't have to be rich to work in fashion. You can do it. And that's what, kind of why I started fashion camp. So it would be a bit stupid of me to be in London when all this is going on in Nigeria. Yeah. Arietta, Aces teammate.